Greetings fellow Warriors, Boy McAnimal and uh, today week 3, uh, Monday day 1, uh, the last uh, week before G-Load. Everything is ramping up pretty fast and a lot of volume today. Hopefully I get enough time to squeeze everything in because I'm running out of time. Had to run some errands and uh, life happens. Now I have about 2 hours to squeeze everything in. All right. Let's do it. Superset time it is, I guess. Back squats, a lot of levers, and um, yeah, should be fun. See you inside. I'm about to start my last series. So far, so good. Everything is going according to plan. Feeling stronger. Uh, my left knee was a little bit sore, but with a good warm up, uh, it solves everything. It's, it's kind of been like that for for years. Uh, I never been. Uh, think I've used some ankle weight in the past in my really young years. Uh, trying to work on my hop, and I kind of mess up the left knee uh, by overdoing it and not knowing what I was doing. So. Uh, every once in a while, if not all the time, I feel a discomfort on my left knee. But it doesn't keep me from uh, working out in general because I know by warming up a little more, I'm able to override uh, the discomfort of sometimes pain. And uh, yeah, I feel it's something that I'm going to have to deal with. But other than that, everything is good. I feel like uh, because of that, I'm pushing a little more on my right side than my left side. I'm not sure whether it's... Uh, because of the strain on my left knee, I'm feeling and I'm pushing on the right. Or if it's for com out of compensation, I'm really doing it because I don't, f I don't think I'm doing it. I try to push from the both, both sides, but I feel like I feel a little more tightness on my right, <laughs> on my right side than my left. And from my left side being uh, kind of weaker, for me not to feel the stress on my left side is gonna make me wonder whether I'm compensating or not, but I'm pretty sure I'm pushing from both sides. And the ultimate diagnosis will be like maybe my right side is tighter because I use that as a dominant limb. And because of that tightness, it makes me feel like I'm pushing more on that side, you know. Uh, 
on uh, precisely my uh, left hip, I mean my right hip. So that's about the analysis so far. Uh, yeah, about to start the last, the last series, uh, five to one, and uh, gonna start. I mean, I've been uh, uh, supersetting my uh, liver holds, front liver holds, with the back squat so that I save some time. And I'm done with the liver, so I'm about to do some, uh, 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 what you call them, all show pull ups. Probably gonna wait until I finish the, the set of uh, squats before I do the all show pull ups because it's gonna drain me. It's gonna impact my last set because I gotta finish strong. Or I may just do some, uh, some of my uh, tuck uh, planche holds in between to save time because I can't wait all that minutes. That's gonna take me about a cumulative of. Um, six seven minutes not doing anything i'd rather supersede it with something upper body wise that doesn't take much out of me and uh, only requires me my uh, nervous system upward to be operational so that's that let's go I saw the devil on that last set. <laughs> like you guys can see, it was a little shaky. Not so much, but I managed to make it look as steady as possible, but I could feel the vibration shift uh, left to right, to left, to right, to left, stabilize it before I pushed that last set. So it was pretty good, man, because that's how it's supposed to be, feeling those, uh, uh, pushing the, the body to recruit as much uh, higher threshold fibers as possible as you get uh, to the, the remain I mean the last sets and those are the ones that actually count the last one make the last one look as good as the first one so mission accomplished for today I'm looking forward to deload and then even more forward uh, to the next phase so so far phase one was good on, uh, on my uh, uh, return to uh, uh, back squat uh, now I'm about to get up to my upper body I already finished uh, one third of my upper body workload in between supersetting. It may be one of the reasons why I felt a little fatigue as well, because in between the last two sets, I superset it with the archer each arm. Uh, I did first the the, three, uh, the 345, and then no, no, before between the 315 and 345. I went for one archer, and between 345 and the last one, 355, I went for the second arm. So uh, that could have imp impeded my ability to uh, be as uh, uh, make it look as effortless as possible, which is all good. I, as long as I get the work in, I'm good with it. And uh, uh, this tempo of archer pull-up I'm doing today is not that demanding, so I can get away with it. It's just some straight repetition. I went for seven on each arm, uh, so. It's good. I'm about to hop on the second set of archer on each arm, uh, 
and uh, possibly the uh, what you call them, the uh, the iron cross and finish out with a handstand uh, uh, on the ring. So today I think it's like eight repetition this week on the handstand push up on the rings and I'm going to go four repetition on the archer. I might spare you uh, the footage of my upper body because it may seem repetitive and boring each week but I want you all to know that that's what it takes to unlock greatness. It takes all that boring work, repetitive work or not so impressive uh, uh, feature uh, to be able to unlock uh, that next level skill that most people take for granted. You have to earn it. Some people get it earlier than others, but it comes down to how bad you want it. And like people will see, none of those skills came easy to me. I had to grind myself through every single one of it, especially being my size, which I don't like to mention often because that's looking for an excuse. But the, the reality is when you are 145, 150 pounds compared to somebody in the higher threshold of the 190s, it's a whole lot of difference in the ball game. Let alone when you work your legs, make it even harder. Because one thing is to be heavy. You have a lot of people over 100 kilograms uh, that don't work legs. So most of the mass is on the upper body, which make any type of leverage much easier because you have less mass to, uh, to counter uh, with your upper body. It's physics, duh. So not to take away anything from those people, but I just want the average person to understand what it takes to uh, to perform those features because in the big scheme of it to the untrained eye uh, it all looks the same it all look impressive but yeah my uh, my path is to be as balanced as possible I stay in my own lane I create my own lane uh, no comparison and uh, as much as people as much as people want to compare all these athletes out there we all build different we all have a specific skill set and it always come down to how bad you want something that you really want to make you know your life about and yeah choose your path do what makes you happy and at the end of the day hey yeah man do you we all different <laughs> all right let me get back to work that's enough for the rest time <laughs>